Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. My name is Greg. More likely this is gonna be a series of two to three episodes. We're gonna be converting an Archdale vertical mill into an International 40 taper tool holder for the simple reason that I have another machine which uses 40 International and I just wanna have the luxury to be able to swap tooling between those two machines. So this is the head that was on this vertical mill. There's a dog that actually sits over here and this is what drives the whole the whole head. I'm not even sure what kind of tool holder does it have. That's just a locking nut and this is the tool holder. It looks like a capstan but it's not. This is just a standard 716 rod. Pretty bent though. Oh my, look at that. That's been there some time. So basically this head is assembled in a very very easy way. So you've got one bearing on the top. This is a taper bearing, obviously you've got a collar and oh. Huh. That's interesting. Rotating. I think so. Oh yeah, I think it just didn't go down far enough. We've got this bevel gear. There's another collar that it's not even seated properly. That should Oh, how? How inconvenient. Okay, so you've got the bevel gear, that's the shaft, it's just a through shaft. And there's a collar that's supposed to go into this journal. And there's another bearing just under over here, what you will see once this tool holder comes out. Enjoy. To be honest, I cannot see any fault with this one, except the fact that he wasn't doing his job properly. This doesn't seem to be the right size color for it. Okay, and I don't know if you can see, but that, oh yeah, there's the color. And ideally, you would go in with a screwdriver. Okay, so what you need to do is I get one of these soft pins and just try to twist this color, try to unscrew this color. You see? Well, it's already freed up. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay, so the bearing's out. That's the top bearing. This is a Timken 30207. Made in France with a lighter. Are you gonna swap it to made in GB? Screws missing. Or the bullets missing, I'm sorry. So the whole assembly is loose now. So right now it's just a matter of untreading that color. Just be gentle because it might fall out. It's quite heavy. Okay, I think it's loose. And gently you take these ones off one by one. The color safety ring. That's the color. That's the bevel gear. So this is how the two hood looks like. And this is where this be attaches. And that's what drives the two. Fairly old style. But we're gonna be swapping it to an international 40 as I said. Okay, so we've got this color that actually it's a press fit into this bushing and you can see over there it's oil lubricated so once the oil gets in there that's basically just an overflow and it goes back into the machine and a taper bearing so what we're gonna be doing we're gonna I'm gonna take you over to the bench and we're gonna take these off before the let's take this apart A little bit beaten up and this whole assembly comes out should come out there's four bolts over here that secures this whole thing to the machine body I took the liberty to take them out of the camera this is it just the main bushing. Well, that's the headstock alignment nut bush, whatever you wanna call it. I think it's a I think it's a bushing. I think this is what it is. Bushing. Doesn't look that bad to be honest. It's quite decent. I already found the missing piece, so we're gonna be doing a little bit of welding as well. I've noticed that there's another crack. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. There's another crack over here and over here. So that's gonna need some welding as well. As a matter of fact, I can feel that it's a little bit bulgy now. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. So the plan of attack for this one is that we keep this pushing, we keep the 
bearing race over there. Well, obviously we're changing the bearing. This is it. This is what it looks like. Pretty simple, straightforward, but I think it's a great design. There's a top bearing race. Yeah. All right, so. What I'm trying to do, I'm gonna keep this bearing race. Try to match it. Let me just put this one away. So this is what it's like. It's spinning this way. And this is a two holder at the end. And what I'm trying to do is to convert the head into an international 40 taper. So it accommodates international 40 tooling. Now I've done a few checks, I've done a few measurements and it looks to me that I can hug out enough, well, I have enough material in the shaft to accommodate the International 40 taper. I think it's going to fit perfectly over here, just like so. I think I've got enough material and enough room over here, so that's my plan of attack. trying to keep it simple I'm trying to keep it as original as possible but unfortunately this tool holder is obsolete so I think this is the easiest way to to get the machine back into into the production line once again if I just convert it into international 40 and buy just tools readily available as opposed to you know, make new one every time that I need to use a different tooling, a different diameter. Okay, it's loose now. Come on, man. Lovely. Okay. So the bottom bearing is a Timken 358XR. Let me get some space here. Okay. Well, I can see here straight away there are bits missing from here nothing major 
But I know that someone's already been here. Bearings looking fine. I think I'm gonna keep the bearing because there's nothing wrong with it. Couple of high spots. Let me just get rid of the bird. Look at this. That will make that, that made a big difference. Or maybe I go in and I just clean it with a scratch bright or something. Alright guys, I think this is it for today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.